practically the kind of expectations these manufacturers have, the plant capacity which they have increased, those are not matching with the ground reality today. So they are making products at around what 3.8 to 3.9 lakhs per month, whereas the market today is at around 3.2 to 3.5, which means every month there is a gap of 40, 50,000 vehicles being added. And that is what FADA for the past two, three months has been uh, trying to make into the market that this is not the right size. But as you are aware, the OEMs have a different strategy, different uh, viewpoint on that, and dealers have a different viewpoint. So yes, at, as of current, we dealers are sitting at a very huge inventory pileup. And obviously, it is clearly shown how OEMs have increased their schemes for the customers and how dealers are also giving excess discount. So you are right from the buyer's market, uh, from the seller's market, we are today at the buyer's market. What has changed, Mr. Gulati? Why is suddenly, you know, I mean, let's say I use an example of Mahindra and Mahindra. In the April con call, they said that the waiting period in some of their uh, models is about two to three months. That two to three months became two to three weeks, and now it is two to three days, and now it is perhaps two to three hours. What has changed in three months so much? So I uh, see three months like April was the best of the month. So we were seeing good sales and from April, the sales have dipped down. The market scenario is not very conducive towards the high uh, production levels what they are saying. Like you're talking of a specific Mahindra. Mahindra last year was doing some 30, 32,000 production per month. Today, average they are doing 42 plus. So obviously they have increased their production every month, 10,000, which is helping us. Uh, give vehicles faster, so waiting uh, period going down. But the issue is what April on April we saw good growth, but from May the election period, the heat, and overall market sentiments going down has seen uh, the uh, retail so the customer demands going down, the bookings going down, the inquiry level going down. But the production levels, not even for Mahindra, even for other OEMs, are constant to what level was from Jan to April, which was a very good period for the passenger vehicle for the past so many times. Right. Okay. Um, I don't want to uh, get you in on this discussion because it's quite puzzling as to how suddenly there is that kind of inventory pile up and from waiting period post COVID, which is almost uh, almost two years also when it came to some specific passenger vehicles, I wouldn't name which ones, uh, to now, uh, you know, this kind of an inventory pile up and huge discounts that are being doled out. What's your understanding of the situation? The challenge is, as Vinkesh even mentioned, most companies, passenger vehicle companies, have aspirations to grow in double digit. So when your aspirations are grow to grow double digit and your growth is 3 to 4 percent or 3 to 5 percent, obviously there will be a stock pile up. But one thing that I wish you mentioned about long waiting lists, uh, I have a belief that these waiting lists are also fairly speculative because there was never real waiting list because customers just pay about 5 percent of the value of the product. Specifically, what is the trend for EVs? Because that's where the real rapid expansion has come from everyone. You know, in the last six months, sales have really not grown. The penetration of EVs is 2.2%. You'll see more activity, more action happening in two-wheelers. Four-wheelers have a lot of announcements, projects. But that market size is fairly constant. Seven and a half to eight, six, seven and a half to eight thousand vehicles. And it's not grown dramatically. It can grow. But I don't think that will change the fortunes of the auto industry in the short or medium term.